Hi, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Chinwe of Kiranda International, where we talk everything human resources. If you have not done so, please click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you do not miss any videos from me. Today, we're going to be talking about why the human resource profession is not for you. Yes, this profession is not for you if you do not possess the following qualities and you do not intend to acquire or develop them now or anytime in the future. What are these qualities or skills? The first one is communication skills. Communication skills is the single most critical skills for all professions, including human resources. So your ability to speak and write is very, very important. The second skill is administrative skills. Here in HR, we manage employee information and documents. They could be their employment letters, they could be memos, they could be queries, uh, performance appraisal forms. Some of them are combination letters. And these documents need to be filed either digitally or manually and stored away for safekeeping. The third skill is analytical and problem solving skills. For those of you who think that human resources is not for those who have a flair for numbers or figures, you are grossly mistaken. Here in HR, we gather data, we collect data, and we interpret this data. So your ability to thrive in human resources is dependent on your ability to make sense out of this data that you receive. So if you do not have analytic skills, please do not come to human resources. You also need to be able to solve problems. Problem solving skills is very essential because you interface with people. They will come to you. You need to solve their problems. If you do not have a disability, then you do not have any business in human resources. The fourth skill is confidentiality. When it comes to confidentiality, human resources are like lawyers in not divulging information to families, to friends, to a third party, to anyone within or even outside the organization. And so if one is flippant or has what is called oral diarrhea, human resources is not for him. The fifth skill is intercultural sensitivity and language skills. We're living in a diverse, multiracial, multicultural work environment. And it's important that we acquire this skill to be able to thrive. It is also becoming increasingly important for human resource professionals to be able to learn a second language. So if English is your first language, why not learn uh, Igbo or any other indigenous language that is peculiar to your environment that can also help you work better as a professional. You also need to acquire some soft skills like being proactive, like uh, having uh, good listening skills, being emotionally intelligent, being empathetic. You need to love people. If you do not love interacting with people, then HR is not for you. If you would rather work with machines or computers with little or no human interface, then HR is not for you. As you also develop in the profession, you need some other skills like conflict resolution and management skills. You need social and interpersonal skills, just to mention a few. We're not going to dwell on these skills. We're just going to talk about communication skills today, while we'll focus on other skills in my subsequent videos. So, what is communication skills? What are the types of communication? Why is communication skills a skill that is important for HR professional? And how can you acquire or develop these skills if you do not currently have them? We're going to look at them in this video. So, the first thing, what is communication? Communication is any way we transfer or transmit information from one person to the other, either by writing or speaking or any other medium. And communication is deemed to be effective or complete when the recipient acts on the information. Did you notice that there are three aspects of communication? The sender, the message, the message and the receiver. These three items must be complete before communication is said to be effective or complete. There are also different types of communications. I'm going to dwell on just four of them. The first one is verbal communication. Verbal communication is when we speak, like we're doing right now. The second one is non-verbal communication. And this happens while we're speaking. It is called the body language. So your facial expressions, the, the movement of your body, the movement of your hands, your head, all these 
speak volumes when you are communicating. As a matter of fact, people concentrate more on those non-verbal communication more than they do verbal communication. So it's important that we pay attention to this. The third form of communication is written communication. And this has to do with when we send emails, we send memos, social media uh, 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 posts or blogs. They're all part of written communication. Then we have uh, the visual communication. We are constantly being bombarded by visual images, either on television or on the internet, uh, from our mobile phones, apps on the road. So visual communication is also very, very important. So having talked about the, the, the four forms of communication, let's look at why communication is a critical skill for a human resource professional. Well, the first reason is that communication helps us to express our ideas and our feelings. It helps us to express our emotions. So when you send a resume to a hiring manager or to an organization, you're communicating that you want to be a potential hire to the organization. You want to work for that organization. And when the hiring manager or the recruitment officer contacts you either via email or by telephone and uh, organizes an aptitude test or a panel interview, they're communicating that you could be a potential hire for that organization. And this communication goes back and forth until you get hired, you go through the orientation or onboarding process, you also continue to communicate with the organization until separation, which could either be a resignation or termination, as the case may be. Communication is also important because when you get hired into the human resource department, your ability to communicate company policies and procedures becomes ever more important. The third reason is that as you grow in the profession and become a team lead or a manager, the process of communication continues as you pass on information about expectations, about goals to team members, and you provide constant feedback or feed forward as the case may be. The fourth reason is that as a human resource staff, you are a link between the organization and the employees. You are both an employee advocate and a business partner. Employees come to you uh, for resolution of their problems. They need feedback as to their performance and all that. And this is where communication really comes in. Then effective communication is also needed to engage, inform, and inspire others. We have good examples of communicators who are able to inspire people to do what they ordinarily would not want to do. We have the example of Mark Anthony of ancient Rome who was able to energize the Romans and make them do things that looked almost impossible after the death of Julius Caesar. So when we're able to communicate effectively, we make people do things that they ordinarily would not want to do. We engage them, we inform them. And for organizations, communication is also essential for decision-making and for planning. It helps organizations to work efficiently. It helps them promote cooperation. It also helps them to uh, promote peace in the organization. So that being said, the importance of communication in organizations and for HR professionals cannot be underestimated. Okay, so if we know that communication is very, very important, is a skill that we must acquire as a human resource officers, how do we acquire them? How do we develop them if we do not presently have them? This will be the focus of our next video. So see you next week, same time, Fridays by 7 p.m. I'll be expecting you.